an online portal for permits and inspections applications allowed Frederick County's economy to grow during the past two years, despite the COVID-19 pandemic. A recent survey of portal users gave the land management system positive scores for its ease of use and overall performance. The system, which won an International Customer Service Excellence Award in 2020, earned high marks in a survey conducted this year by the Division of Planning and Permitting. I'm proud to say that Frederick County is a great place to do business. Even during the pandemic, our community experienced job growth with more than 100 businesses launching, locating, or expanding in our community. At the heart of any thriving economy is a professional and efficient planning and permitting department. The Division of Planning and Permitting compiled comments from the survey to identify areas for improvement. Upgrades to the land management system soon will be phased in starting this fall. Training for portal users will be held each Thursday at 10 a.m. with the first session scheduled for September 8th. To register or learn more, visit frederickcountymd.gov planning. County Executive Jan Gardner welcomed Congressman David Trone to the Frederick County Health Department on August 30th. Congressman Trone presented a check of $850,000 for the Crisis Stabilization Center to go towards the design and construction of the center. Uh, the center is due to open up uh, late next summer. Uh, County Executive Gardner filled us in on that and the update. And we're, I mean, Mar Maryland's having a tough time. It's number five in the country on mortality rate on drug overdoses. And that's not a number we want to hold. To find help for mental health or substance use concerns, call now. The Frederick County Division of Fire and Rescue Services congratulated 26 of its newest members on Friday, September 9, 2022. These members completed the 28-week academy and have now moved into the field to start their firefighting careers, which for many began the day after graduation at their station assignments. The new firefighters completed over 850 hours of coursework and challenging daily physical fitness conditioning. Well, uh, we're excited to have them on the street uh, to help serve the citizens of Frederick County. And I know graduation for our other uh, firefighters is one of the highlights of their career. Uh, we have a very rigorous recruit training academy that's very demanding to make sure that they can uh, help the citizens in their time of greatest need. And tonight's graduation is really a celebration of their successful completion of that basic training. Congratulations, Recruit Class 32.